All right, what is up guys? Here we are today with the new Alicia Destiny Nod deck. Uh, so this is a Kane Militant Wheel Bike Scorpion Venom Phantom deck. It's honestly like pretty similar to her standard builds. Like she does anti-infantry, infantry, wheel bike, scorpion, phantom. And then usually her last unit is something to kill like Giga Cannon or MLRS, like that kind of thing that's good against tanks. But this time she's gone with Kane for that reason. And we have Venom. I'm not really sure what the Venom is for, I guess, because the Militant and the Wheel doesn't give us not as much power in the early game. Um, and it's probably it's, it's probably to kill lasers, actually. It's probably to kill lasers that are defending Chuggies and Giga Cannons. Because that is kind of like the large part of the meta right now is Laser plus Chuggy or Giga Cannon plus Chuggy. And having the Venom as a way to kill the infantry blockers that bypasses the Chuggy and the Giga, that's probably what's good about it. And then you also have Kane. All right, so we're going to play some games with this deck. We're going to see how it goes. See what the deck is like. I personally don't like Militant Wheel that much. I talked about this before when I was playing that Tick Tank deck. Although that deck had had no other anti-infantry, which is the biggest issue. Like, Wheel Militant alone is not enough. You need another anti-infantry unit because Wheels and Militants are both too cheap and low damage to handle a lot of the infantry in the metagame right now. So, um... The Venom helps with that, obviously. Um, it does mean that you're basically relying on Scorpion for everything, though. Like, this deck this deck also crutches on on Kane pretty hard, because your deck, this deck would normally be weak to Giga, MLRS, Predator. Predator looks like an absolute beating for this deck as well. Um, but you have Kane, and Kane is kind of good about against all of those things. So you're kind of really reliant on the Kane. Like, the Kane needs to do a lot. Which is very weird. Um, like, if you... Yeah, just relying on that cane is so odd. Because it's quite expensive, and then it usually doesn't make money. This like, normally what happens is, control. you make a cane, it kills the thing you needed to kill, but then another one comes out and doesn't go near the tower. So, like, you need to cane at the right time to make sure that you deny their predators, or chuggies, or giggers, or whatever, like, right at the most important moment in the game. Anyway... We're on side by side, which is a pretty bad cane map. Okay. I'm not gonna make a harvester if he's grain rushing me. Pro tip chat, if you scout a rush, you don't have to make a harvester. I'm feeling pretty confident about this game. Given that my opponent invested all of his resources into a grain and a missile that I killed very easily. Alright, this guy's no hard now. No hard GDI is very bad. So I'm feeling pretty 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 good about this one. We just need to need to get to the mid game. Uh, probably want to go for a Venom, like Venom, he has to tech switch to fight the Venom, and since he doesn't have a Harvester, it's really expensive to do that. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Surrender here, honestly. Oh, he goes Harvester, alright, fair enough. Unfortunately, we don't have any pop cap to pressure it, like normally I would pressure the Harvester here, as much as I could, um, because he hasn't got good defense for it, because he has spent all his money on said Harvester. Unfortunately, we were pop cap, so I couldn't do that right away. I did send the Venom, which has actually surprisingly good vehicle damage. And I've obviously put my rifles into this, uh, into this Tiberium field in the hopes they're gonna die. And give me back some pop cap. Get some Venom and send it down here. I mean, like, the game is basically over at this point. If you rush and fail, normally you can't make a harvest during time to be relevant for the game. Like, the game will just be over by the time your harvester does anything. I guess a little obelisk as well, why not? Really cement the victory. Alright, well, I mean, if you try and grin with someone, that's kind of what happens. Mission accomplished. What's up, Superman? First, as always. Establishing battlefield control. Three, two, one. 
Alright, this would be an interesting one. This is an okay map for the for the obelisk, also a decent map for like Giga and Chuggy and Mutant. Which are things that I expect to play against. We're gonna switch into Militant pretty quickly here. Because our opponents open double laser. The militant switch is obviously very cheap as well. Let's see what Lord Stark does. I suspect he'll go straight into Chuggy, would be my guess. Which I would like to block with my militant. Yeah, there it is. I'm oh, sorry, wheel. Looks like I missed the block. No, hang on. Still alright. Getting some block value. I don't think we're going to be able to live long enough with these militants. But maybe with both of them? Nice. With both militants were able to get there. All right, so we're going to need Scorpion for the Chuggy, and we're also this, this is where we this is where Venom comes into play because now we can make a Venom which can um, which can kill these lasers without losing to the Chuggy, which is really important. It's important to have something that kills the laser without losing to the Chuggy. I wonder if these wheels can kill this Chuggy. Or? Probably not. The Venom definitely could. Inferno, sure. Run the scorpion away. We need a phantom, SAP. Drop the bomb. Send the phantom in and send the, the scorpion to clear the bikes out. This is a, uh, yeah, this is looking pretty solid so far. I must say, I was a little skeptical at first, but that was kind of a beating. Kind of just had the tools for the job. The Venom felt, I mean, the Venom was really good in that matchup. Like, really good. One Arva. I assume this is meant to be Lava. Or well, one is not enough. Otherwise, I'd be. Lillade, you know? And I'm not Lillade. If Kaishish was here, maybe I'd be Lillade. Alright, this is going to be a brutal one. Level 13 wheels versus level 10 missiles. Yeah, this one's... This one's over, man. Let's hit that surrender button. Save us all some time. Unit ready. Unit offline. Unit ready. Level 5 buggy? Bro, my militants beat your buggy. Bro, my militants actually beat his buggy. Oh my god. Unit offline. I got the tip with like level 7 Jeffrey on my smurf. 7 and 8. The real whale would have chosen one unit and committed. Alright, I can just I can just I can just militant the whole game. This looks like a matchup I can win with just militant. Levels are such a such an awful mechanic. Such an awful mechanic. Imagine how good this game could have been if it had just been like a proper game. Instead of a mobile game with all the horrible mobile tropes. Objective complete. Three, two, Alright, crazy eyes This guy plays me from Chuggy. Uh, this is also a really bad map for Obelisk. I think this is the only place you can put the Obelisk, really. Which is like, it covers the middle pad, but it doesn't cover... Like, here would be much better. Here would be insane. Unit ready. Building 
Charging online. I'm gonna push in because I want him to go double laser. I want him to go double laser so I can switch into the militants. Unit offline. The unbelievers are in ready position. Destroy the GDI. What's the kill the unbeliever? Bless him up now. Kill the Ghostbusters. Unit offline. We are the brotherhood. Ruffing up to their knees. I'm probably gonna chug you when I the tank. Maybe this tank is a little too early. If I really need to not lose to Chuggy, if I just want straight to mutant, maybe I shouldn't have gone tank. If I don't want to I should not have gone tank. I can go Venom though, because, it, because everything's so cheap, like the barrack swap is like 40, you can then go into the Venom. And the Venom is a big deal, because it gives you a way to do this, it gives you a way to fight these mutants and that not die to Chuggy. So the Venom helps a lot here. Wow, that was uh, it's kind of gross actually. It's like a preemptive banshee, assuming that I'm going to go Venom, I just haven't. I'm going to need to Obelisk soon. I think I'm going to Obelisk onto this next um, M buggy. Nice. Let's hope we got it. Let's hope we crushed, actually. Wow, okay, um, <laughs> I've only done three games of this deck, but I might have to revise my opinion. My initial opinion was like, this deck is very Alicia style deck, and if you're not as good as her, you probably can't play it that well, but actually I think it might just be really good right now. Crazy Ivor again. Alright, well he's unlikely to, uh... I haven't been bike rushed yet either. Like, if people look at the deck and realize that I'm opening wheels with no lasers, people could definitely bike rush this deck. I haven't really accomplished much with the cane tower yet. I just killed that chuggy just now, which meant that I just dominated the missile. So I don't know if that's entirely true. I'm going to see what adjustments he makes now that he's seen the deck. I don't want to go tank again until I see the chuggy. Even if he kills the militants, he can't get through the scorpion before the missile fire. Winning first missile against mutant, against Chuggy does feel amazing. It's not something that happens very often these days. I don't even need to make phantom again, so I don't think. I think we just keep making, uh, keep making bites. 
Get the obelisk pound now and try and get some more venoms over here. Easy clap, boy. Man, Banshee is not a good unit, to be fair. Banshee is not a good unit. I think if he had, he has Banshee instead of Stealth Tank, I think a Stealth Tank would be a lot better. Like, a unit that can kill the Venoms instantly would be a lot stronger. Three, two, one. New again. Interesting to see. I, it's interesting when you play against the same person multiple times on ladder with the same deck, but then you see what adjustments they make in the matchup. Like the first game, it actually didn't really make much of an adjustment. He kind of went laser, laser, militant in both games. I think maybe the pressure the militant puts on, because it's so fast, isn't giving him many options. Because the militant comes out so quickly. Look, I'm, I'm making this militant as like my third unit. There's no way he can afford a chuggy in time. So he's like feeling forced to make militants to fight it. This time I think he's going straight into the chuggy. Yeah, it looks like it. Because it just clearly hasn't worked, right? Going militant has not worked, so yeah, it's going straight into chuggy, which makes sense. I'm going to try and block it with the wheel. And then we'll go tank. Mm, that flame is going to be a problem. I think they can live against the flame, that's why I went by. Alright, let's hope we get the missile still. Ooh, it's going pretty well. Now we go Venom for the mutants. He's following up with bikes already, that's fine, because the scorpion's here. And the venoms are so cheap as well. Like, yeah, you, like, okay, so he, like, kills my first venom with two bike quadrants, whatever. <laughs> I still, I still have a sec, I have a second venom and I trade off the, I trade off the first venom for a bike squadron and a mutant model there as well, so. It's actually pretty much, it's actually not bad. And these mutants are just being, like, chased around by venoms constantly, which is super awkward for him. And then if something doesn't work with that, we have these militants as a super cheap option as well. Which he's basically forced to go uh, chuggy against. If I can cane this chuggy. Nice. I'll just spam bikes and get the venom over here and I win. There it is! Another one! Three in a row, man! This deck seems real good against Mutant Chuggy. Although well, he doesn't have Stank, and I think that's really important. Because Stealth Tank one trusting the Venoms is a much bigger deal. Tom Eric. Alright, I believe Tom Owen is playing a Razorback deck. Unit missile, pretty standard. So I actually want to, it's similar to with dog rifle, I want to chip away at the rifles of my wheels. Like I'll take a 2v1 on the missiles, but what I really want is to chip away at the rifles so I can get my rifle. Although my units are faster at swapping than his, so I should still be favoured. That didn't go very well, let's go. Another rifle. I'm probably going to go into Razorback, and I won't have enough to go Phantom, I don't think. So maybe I should be stalling. Yeah, I should have been stalling. I'm going to have to go Bikes, and Bikes usually doesn't do the trick. 
but I haven't got a lot of options. That's definitely not what he was trying to boost. That was a misplay. There's no way he wanted to boost that garbage rifleman squad. Alright, so we are going to take the first missile still. It's uh, the like double 10 cost unit is just ultra aggressive, very good first missile. And then we can now get a Phantom. Oh, I guess I have Venom. I could have considered going Venom against the missiles. Because he's going to try and play Missile Wall with Razorback and Venom counters that. Your command, EMP missiles, red, no fans, no waiting target command. I'm ahead, so... Shoot it with the phantom and run, and let the bikes finish it off. Ah, bro, what? <laughs> Even if he was able to shoot the uh, phantom, which is surprising, honestly, I'm amazed that it was enough damage to kill it. I thought it had way more hit points than that. That was very strange. Alright, whatever. Maybe it was lower hit points than I realised. I'm gonna have to send the Venom over, unfortunately. Use the bikes to block and we should win the game here. An obelisk for good measure. Wow, these Venoms, man, these Venoms are doing worse. You are victorious. Alright, come on again. Let me just go harvest the bird. Considering opening militants here. I think I want to stall as well. I think once I get to Razorback, I'm actually favoured. Oh, sorry, not Razorback. Once I get to Phantom, I'm favoured to kill the Razorback. He went militant a uh, missile first. I considered going militant first here because of that. Thinking he might go missile first. Yeah, this works out pretty well for me. It's kind of like you get to win the rifle war on the cheap because you get to like just use a single wheel to make sure you win the rifle war, which is kind of interesting. Alright, so I'm assuming he's going to go razor back. Yeah. And again, we're not going to be able to afford phantom right away, so we're going to go bikes to start with. And we're just sort of trying to use the bikes to ward off the Razorback and pressure it, stop him from taking map control with the Razorback, which is what he wants to do. He wants to take map control and then push up the missiles. Bikes? What the F was that? Did you guys see that? They like drove up to the Razorback and then I told him to attack the Razorback and they like turned around and shot the missile trooper. <laughs> Alright, first missile again under the belt. He's gonna go Razorback, we're gonna go Phantom. I'm gonna start making Venoms to counter the missiles without dying to Razorback. He's got a Pitfall, makes sense. I'll get tank to defend. Oh, Razorback. We can go militant every time the Razorback is gone. And then he has to kind of make another Razorback to counter them. So every time we chase off a Razorback or kill a Razorback, he's forced to make another Razorback. Like, we can make militant. And we can power for the Pitbull here as well. Wow, that was... Um, I'm, this deck seems real good. This deck seems real good. Objective complete. I gotta say, I'm uh, I'm super impressed. All right, dubious. I do think we're weak to a bike rush. Like, if someone bike rushed me, that would be a problem. If someone went like bike, bike, tank, like if they just bike rush and then just immediately go into a tank with the money from it, that would be a real issue. How's the grape drink? It's uh, it's a lot like Apple Tango. So it's decent, but it's not what I was looking for. The hunt, the great, the great quest for a superior apple drink continues. 
That's annoying. I really hope we get more wheels to block there. And again, that's, uh, that's really important. Could go, um... Could go Scorpion here. He might do it. If he doesn't have a good answer for Scorpion, the Scorpion could just win the missile. Unit Unit yeah, he went laser, that's what I was hoping he'd do. If he's going laser, it means he probably hasn't got a great answer for the Scorpion. I can just go militant. I'm a little worried about Shuggy. He's trying to dance me, but if you just stand still, you still get good damage on someone trying to dance. Lasers up here as well, I can send the militant. Yeah, it looks like he really doesn't have a great answer to the school field. Let me get another one. Because the first one is going to die to bikes. And the second one to take over the tile. Alright, looks like we got both tiles. Scorp his, his deck looks weak to Scorpion. Oh, he has his own Scorpion. Well then. He could have made that sooner. Maybe he's broke. Maybe I was winning the bike mirror more than I realised. I don't really care about these militants. I'm just trying to make sure my Scorpion doesn't take a free hit. Yeah, kind of like that. His Scorpion took a hit as well, wasn't he? Yeah. Not sure why his Scorpion got the shot off there and mine didn't, that's kind of annoying. I can also just cane if I want to, like, instantly win this tank now. Yeah, I saw that coming. I already had the militants on the way because I knew he was going to laser here. Later. Okay. Um, I don't really want to go... I'm going to do wheel because I really don't feel like going uh, Venom right now. I'm just going to use wheels here. Then we'll go militant again. And as we approach the end of the missile, I think now is a good time. We'll obelisk both these tanks. Nice, nice. I pretty much went exactly as I planned. That went less like I planned. <laughs> that was less good. But he is really far behind on money now. He's gonna have to use lasers for a bit. He should be kind of broke at this point. But he should be forced into laser, which means I can go militant and pressure his harvester. Yep, there it is. He kind of threw like everything at that missile, which obviously he has to do because the game is over. Like, I just win if he doesn't get that missile. But he has to throw a lot of money into it, but by doing that, it puts himself in a position where he really struggles to get back into the game if I just keep pressuring. Probably needs to be pressuring the missile a little bit more than I am right now. I should pull this half because I'm rich AF. And the obelisk can take care of the flamers for me. Alright, we got him. We got him. We got infinite money here. We can do whatever we want. Alright, I feel pretty comfortable going half as first. Here. Destroyer plays Suzaku APC, I think. So his best unit is going to be um, Orker against me. And we're probably going to be unfavored until we can get to Phantom. We don't have Flamer. If we have, if, like, I think, I think Flamer, Flamer bike smashes, uh, smashes Orker drone pretty well. But we don't have Flamer. We have Militant. It's a lot worse. Needed. We're ready to get... Unit ready. 
expecting the drones from around here, to be honest with you. Maybe he's waiting until near the end of the mission to drone form. Yeah, there's the air tower, so the bike's ready. There's Orca first. Alright, I'm gonna let him I'm gonna let him kill the Orca in exchange for a bike volley. That's fine. If we do that twice, then we exchange two bikes for an Orca, which is still a positive trade. And if we just if we just snipe it here, then it's huge. Very nice. Here comes the drones, as well as I was actually expecting to do last time. We are in a little bit of trouble on account of this top pad. Oh, nice, I have one militant holding it. Good job, one militant. I thought that turret was going to be a problem, but... One militant saves the day. Alright, so we get first missile, that's a really big deal, because I actually think the later the game goes, it gets better for us, not him. Normally the APC deck is like heavily favoured the later it gets because of APC, but we have tanks, which is a good counter to APC. So I don't think that's necessarily the case here. We have the Phantom for the Orca, which is something I was saying was going to be a big deal. I'll happily shoot this drone for him with it. Alright, such is life. We'll let that turret go. No biggie. Let it, let, let it do some work on our militant. Bring this bike down to kill this. I don't want to use the Phantom on it. I want to use the Phantom on the Orca. Nice. Exactly as I expected. Here comes a pitfall. I'm wondering if I should obelisk this. Land pop uh, I think yes. So I want to put it here. So I can get another pitfall afterwards. Nice. Get that pitfall as well. Easy clap. What a savaging. <laughs> what a savaging, chat. Holy crap. You are victorious. Alright, it's gonna be the last game of this deck. I'm gonna go up with the wheels because I'm actually very worried about a rush with this deck. No rush. So we'll go wheels into uh, bike. He does the same. We're actually favoured on this because our wheels are helping fight in the bike mirror, which actually does matter. It means you win by one bike, as you can see here. His bike is uh, his bike is dead. My bike is still alive, so I have one one extra bike model now. So it does actually matter if you have the wheels help out. Ooh, exchanged a bike volley for a wheel. Feels good, man. He goes tank with the tank. We're way ahead in the war factory mirror right now. If I can get a shot on this, I'll take it. There it is. I did lose a bike model, but that's okay. Love the love a tank mirror. He's boosted. I'm not a fan of the boost there. It's too expensive, I think. Although he did just get like two free shots on me, so maybe maybe I'll prove him to be wrong here. I think the I don't like the boost, but I misplayed it after the boost happened. See if he tech switches. He doesn't. Sticks to War Factory. I don't want to overcommit in case he does switch into uh, laser. But the militants are so cheap, it actually gives us the ability to uh, to switch into a counter to to laser very easily. Or a bike. Yeah, bike on the back pad as well. I believe we're winning this. I mean, we have two two scores on the middle. There's one. I think there's just too many bikes. I don't think you can kill five bike bombs in time. Damage didn't get the free hit there. Definitely just want more scorpions. He's gonna have to switch pretty soon, I think. 
Oh, he's got more scorpions. All right, this guy wants a, this guy wants a tank fight. He's down, man. I love tank fight. Scorpion ready. Scorpion ready to scorpion tank reporting. Damn. Okay, get the shot on that one. I'm pushing because I got extra tanks at the moment. I want the healthy ones to tank for me. Another boost, my word. I really like to boost. This is proper rivals right here. Oh, such a good, such a good gameplay, man. I love these war factory mirrors. This is what it's all about. Ah, dominant in the war factory mirror. Dominant. <laughs> Got him, chat. That was a great game. I like that one a lot. Oh, we didn't play it great. There were definitely some misplays along the way there. But, uh, you know, we did come out ahead in the tank mirror. And that's what really matters. Alright, chat, there you go. Ten games with the Alicia Destiny new ladder deck. Um, when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, Laserless Alicia deck. It's going to be kind of difficult to play and it's only going to work if you're as good as Alicia. But actually, no, this deck seems, just seems really good. Like, it's really, it's actually way more forgiving than I expected because so many of the units are so cheap. Like, losing wheels and militants just doesn't ever matter. Even the Venoms and the bikes are not really expensive enough for it to matter losing. All you need to do is be careful of your Scorpions and your Phantoms and save up for well-timed Canes. And yeah, you can see he's actually playing like the old Alicia deck, which is very similar. It's got Flamer and Inferno and Oxana. This is another thing. I had Kane in this matchup. So if I ever got enough for Kane and we were just doing, duking it out in a tank mirror, Kane just dominates that fight. So yeah, actually, I think this deck's really good. Uh, would recommend. It's a really interesting opening. I do think that it's very weak to getting bike rushed. If you go like half wheel and you get bike rushed into tanks, you might just be dead. There's like no comeback mechanic for that. And we didn't really play against Giga or MLRS or Predator, all of which I think are things that would be actually very difficult to deal with. Um, so yeah, I'll need to play the deck more and get a better feel for it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And I'll see you all next time.